So, like if he, so right now, it, the step one is, is the perfect step to teach these guys not to push on you, okay? All right, so I want that right front foot to go out and away from me. Okay, I want the left front foot to go this way now. There you go. I want him to stay off me here. You see how I have a little length on my lead here? Yeah. Okay, I want the, the right front foot to go out and away, right front. There you go. So I'm, I'll hang in there until that foot went out where I'd like it to be. I'll send him around now. I don't want him to pull on me. So I'm not going to, I'm not going to try to pull him one way or another. I'm going to try to do this on loose rein here. If he pulls on me, that's his problem. See, but he moved those shoulders a lot better that time, but he could do better yet. Say, come on in here a second. There you go. Let's go this way. I want that right front. Good. There you go. So, and then when I when I just hang out with him, I'll show you here in a second. If I was just standing with him, I'll show you what I kind of do. No, it's easier for me. It has nothing to do with my experience or anything at all. It's just simply I set the standard right off. He doesn't know me. I just said, I move your feet. He says, okay, I know where I stand in this herd. But you guys already have your herd, okay? <laughs> and he moves you. He, he's your leader. He's your herd leader. So you're saying there's there's change in the hierarchy, and he's saying BS. And you say, well, no, I move your feet. And he's saying, yeah, right. <laughs> so so you can have to change that. See, like, what if I was hanging out with this donkey like this, this is about where I'd like to be. About like this. Just like I've been saying with my mule. A little bit of length here and see how he has a loose rein. He can relax. I'm not bugging him and he's not bugging me. But if he was to come in and if he was to want to try to move a little bit, like right there, he kind of, even though he's itching, he brought that shoulder closer than I would like it. And see how I moved his feet? See? I say, I say, even though you had a little itch, you kind of leaned into my space. And he's like, hey, you're a jerk. No, I'm not. Just don't lean on me. That's all it is. I'm just setting a standard. All right, I'll say, all right, let's go. Let's go here to my right. I give him a good deal. Oh, he thought about it. There you go. Keep going. So go I'm ahead. To babysit Riata. He says, I want to go clear out here. I said, no, stay in here. So before he finds the end of that lead rope, I'm going to help him know where those boundaries are. So I don't wait for him to get clear out there. Pull on me. Let's go this way. Good. There you go. Keep going. And I'll just hold the rein right where he left it. The second he moves, I quit. So I'm always watching their feet. I think a lot of people kind of get late on some of these things because you guys are, you watch their head or you're watching their body. I, I, I'm watching the whole meal, the whole meal, the whole donkey, but particularly their feet. Keep going. Keep going. And before he had quit, I'd get him to go. So before, before he faded on me all the way, and don't lean on me there. So I'm just trying to stay in the same circle I'm making. It'll be a little bit of a challenge because he wants to pull some. And I might say, let's let's untrack the hindquarters here. I don't let him pull on me. So so he felt a little heavy there. So I'll just bump on that lead. There you go. That's a little better. There. Let's go back to the circle. And he can hold his front feet a little bit more still and pack some more weight on those front feet. I'll stop. He about missed a stop. Let's go back this way, big guy. There you go. Let's stop right there. Let's stop. There you go. Okay, now you can come on in here. Step here. There you go. Come in one more step. There you go. One more. So if they get a little sticky like this, I'll just do one step at a time, release every step, ask for a little more, release every step, good. I come in here and say, no hard feelings, no hard feelings, I just move your feet, okay, that's all. He says, all right. So you just kind of have to set the standard, but it's, it's going to be harder for you than it was for me, Emily, because because you guys have already set your little standards. Whenever you get a new donkey or a new mule, and you're you're pretty new at all of this, right? Yeah. He's your first. Kid, okay. Totally so, anytime any of you get a brand new animal, say you just went and bought a new mule today, they are testing 
They want to know where they stand, and they can figure it out faster than you can, than you realize. So just as quick, when you enter the pen, they kind of figure out who moves who. You know, you know, if we if we turned all these mules and, and donkeys in here loose together, we would know in less than five minutes who is the herd leader real quick. They would line it out, they would figure it out, and it would be done. They'd test it. They always test it now and again. You know, one of my favorite jokes I always tell is, you know, you know these donkeys, and the same thing with the mules and the horses, you know, their herd hierarchy, you know, what happens to the herd leader when he, that herd leader, he or she gets old and kind of slows down? What happens to that herd leader? They fall down to the bottom. They're now peon level. It's just all the way down to the bottom. And the next one kind of comes up and takes its place. So some of these guys, even though you do this, and, you know, like this groundwork is establishing that standard, you know, even though you do this and you'll do it uh, until it goes really good and then you keep doing some more, but just because you do it once or twice doesn't mean it's set because he's, he's already.